Hello, hello, hello. I'm Alucard Night Raven. Welcome to my channel. And welcome to another review. And before I get started, I want to apologize again. I know I've been doing that a lot every time I get a review up. It's been really difficult for me to get as many reviews out as I would like. Um, it's been um, rather tough. Uh, a lot of stuff going on, family stuff, and just been with work and stuff going on with my my kids and stuff it's it's been difficult but I'm working on getting as much out as possible I'm going to get stuff caught up get some more reviews out as much as I can and so I want to apologize about that first and I want to thank thank you for everyone who has stuck around all my subscribers that have stayed around and I welcome new subscribers. Um, I know I've lost a couple of subscribers, which it, it it's okay. I understand. You know, hasn't been anything new in a, over a week and stuff like that. It can get kind of like, well, is this guy going to be reviewing? So I do want to apologize again. And again, everyone who's still here, thank you. And new uh, subscribers, welcome. I hope you enjoy. My channel's not like others. I don't really do comparisons. I do more the the bread and butter of the toy I'm looking at. And that's really it. Very seldom do I do a comparison. Um, other channels, they do comparisons. They have everything ready. I don't always have everything ready except for the figure I'm looking at. So if anybody's wondered why I don't have comparisons, that's pretty much the reason I like to get into just the basis of the figure itself and give you as much of the figure as possible can. So getting on with it, we are looking at studio series from Transformers the movie 86, Dinobot Sludge. And great figure, um, a couple of issues here or there with, um, I don't want to say flaws, but like you know, DNA Designs is coming out with an upgrade kit that's going to fix a couple of them, but uh, you'll notice one here in uh, Dino mode. But let's take a look at our packaging, which of course I do have, and no more window box, which is unfortunate. But I mean, they're not doing the plastic windows, which sucks. But here we have though a great image of sludge in his dino mode you can see a whole oh pardon me a whole lot of uh shark guns transformers the movie 86 number 15 studio series dinobot sludge transformers generations takara tomi hasbro on this side up close with that dino head 8615 liter class on this side a little more of that image like we see on the front get that down into the camera view so you guys can see what's going on and fixing my camera here <laughs> sorry i need some new new equipment on the bottom our barcode with some words and stuff on the top the transformers the movie on the back we have our Product shots looks great, and of course our backdrop, which I will get into, in his um, robot mode. I think it fits a little bit better because, like, you could, like they show here, you know, there you can see that, and then I'll show with robot mode. And we've also got our warning: do not eat anything in here, please. And there's a tiny little bio what's going on. So yeah, so there's that, and here we have sludge whoops <laughs> the third part of our studio series dinobots for the 86 movie and i am so excited i can't wait for the rest um i think uh i don't know if swoop has been announced yet um i don't think snarl's been announced yet but i think swoop is the next one i think the um list has been released so swoop is going to be our hopefully but i'm looking forward to finishing off our dinobots here but yeah you can see 
gray coloration the gray the silver you can see his gun sword there and here's the first problem you can see like in dino mode i, I get it because of the way it transforms it's hard to you know do this without just a panel you plug in dna designs as i said is doing uh upgrade kit that will cover that but um yeah so there's that big open space and then the gun it's not too bad got our big autobot symbol right there love this gold it looks really nice and beautiful blue eyes that he's got see a bit of red sticking through which is more for um robot mode and see yeah some silver back here it's not bad not bad at all now uh, articulation in this mode head moves up moves down mouth opens and closes there is actually a little thing in there that's like his flamethrower um, it does also rotate here and as long as you can keep it it does have this rotation just that's, what that's supposed to be plugged in I don't think mine's tight enough the front legs move back and forth and these bits move the rear legs move back and forth you can move them out of course these are also going to be his arms we get some movement here of course it's more supposed to be set like this for dino mode so there is that and same thing on the other sides of course but all in all not too bad I like him it's it's a nice Nice rendition at a little bit more of um, um, retail price. It's not bad. I mean, the only ones who've really done uh, the Dinobots better is the Fans Toys and Giga Power isn't bad, but for me, they're too oversized. Like, yes, they were big, but they were not that much bigger than the other G1 characters. Fans Toys size is perfect in my opinion everybody's entitled to their own opinion but yeah i think that is going to be it for our dino mode so let's get into robot mode so we're gonna remove that disconnect this and we want to separate we'll separate that pull that up and we'll separate these rotate them down and we're going to rotate them up like this, sort of keep them out of the way. Now, what we want here, we're going to bring all this out, sort of like this. Separate, oh, no, can't separate those yet. separate everything here and actually this what we want to do once we separate that now what we do and I think mine's stuck there we go rotate those down they can, they can stick a little bit and then bring these up and what we're going to do is we're going to rotate these down, slide them over, bring them up, and there's a little tab. It's not a hard lock, it's a soft lock tab. But plug that in there. And we're going to bring this back around. We actually want to fold this in like this. We bring this back around. And this is just going to come in like this and there's this little post it's gonna plug in right in there kind of hard to see right in there keep that there and this will come up like this bring our foot up and 
what we want to do is we want to kind of plug them together like that so they're nice and flat there's that leg done now I'll do the same thing here bring this around I know it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing bring this up I'll bring this in right here bring this around just like that and bring it down plug it in this will come down like this and this sort of there's a little tiny tab right there I should have mentioned that with this one kind of it's supposed to this one may need a little bit of shaving down I don't know but that one doesn't plug in like this one does I want to bring the foot around there's the legs all done hopefully you could see everything I did there and then rotate like that now what we want to do is bring these around here and we want to rotate these pieces like that and this is gonna come around and it's gonna tab in right there so we can get that out of the way we're gonna rotate here bring it bring his head up first <laughs> then we can bring this piece up sort of rotate the arms around so we can plug it in there's that these we just bring down like this all right now for this we want to have it up like this and there's a tab right here that's going to tab in right in there just like that and we bring that down just bring the head down and now so I'm getting everything situated I'm gonna rotate here and that and then here bring the hands out rotate and let's see right here rotate I think one of these I always have an issue with there we go rotate up rotate it around and situate everything in a good spot all right and I think we've got everything done and there we have sludge in his robot mode and he looks good I like him now, as I said, let me get it out here first. Look at our backdrop. So let's get sludge out of the way here for a second. Here is our backdrop. You could put sludge right on top of it, you know, like that. Whatever you wanted to do. So there's that backdrop. You could also have them in his dyno mode, because technically when they... Um, came in on the courtroom which is what that backdrop is from he was in dino mode they didn't really do a whole lot of uh, robot mode except for at the beginning and maybe a little bit like near the end um, yeah I'm having I think I think this needs to be shaved down or there's some flashing in there that I need to take care of on mine but yeah, not too bad. 
Unfortunately, the packaging that they did with the case assortment, so you had three star screams and one sludge. Made no sense. There were too many star screams out as it was. So hopefully you find him. Um, I know he's a little harder to find now than he was already, but yeah. But let us take a look at that head. Great looking head. The big old black helmet. Love the silver all over. The blue on his eyes. Kind of hard to see. I wonder. Yeah. Kind of hard to see, but there's blue for his eyes. Autobot symbol there. All looks really good. Really nice. Of course, the gold for his toes. And there's the back. These you can just sort of angle however you wish. But yeah. It's not too bad on his backpack either. It's a little, little bit of a homage to the original, but a little tighter on uh, the transformation. Yeah. Uh, articulation, head rotates. Uh, you can use this transformation joint to look up a little bit, look down a little bit. Arms come out that far. Can rotate. 360 on a soft ratchet. We have bicep. We have double jointed elbow, but it only goes that far, which is unfortunate. We have a waist. Can kick forward that far. Kick back that far. Uh, full Van Dam. Have thigh. We have 90 for knee and the feet. We've got that much ankle pivot, so not too bad. Not too bad at all. I said a few things feel loose on mine, but it's not like horrible. I can I can handle it. I can deal with it. And of course take a look at his gun nice black and gold there's the tip you could I think you can fit a blast effect in there so there is that and of course he can hold it and there he's got his blaster ready to take on Decepticons or Unicron whichever can be done <laughs> So yeah, there we have Sludge in all of his glory. And great addition to the Dinobots we already have. Looking forward to the other two. Can't wait to finish them off. Going to be really good to uh, see them on the shelf together. So looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, and I will try to get more um, reviews out as I can. Uh, I, again, I am so sorry that I have not been able to, but I am trying to get as get them out as fast as I can, as many as I can. So, yeah. So that is going to be it for me. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later.